Hey, it's Todd Graves with Graves Golf. I bet you didn't know that it's just important to learn how to stop the body as it is to rotate the body when you swing. Today we're going to talk about the limitations we want to place on the swing and how it's going to help us sequence correctly. So I talk about it a lot where we want to put the body in positions where it creates what I call limitations. I've called it mistake proofing the golf swing. I've called it full range of motion. So there's terms I use that create a position of the body that allow us to move freely, believe it or not. So we, we can move in a free flowing motion where we can produce speed and rotation, but we create limitations. I'll give you a couple really good examples of limitations and you're going to see what I mean by this. And, and by the way, I, I talk a lot about this. This isn't the only time I'm just going to discuss it today because it's such an important concept of what I teach. Now, there's a, one of the things that you know, and if you read through my channel and watch some of these videos, and by the way, if you want to find out a lot more about this, subscribe to the channel and go look at some of these previous videos. I talk about this stuff as part of a, it's a big part of what I teach as far as moving correctly to hit a golf ball consistently. But Obviously, when I rotate the lead foot and I flex the knee towards the toe, it limits what the lead pelvis can do, right? So there's one little example of limitation out of positioning. This is a different position. That is a different limitation. So proper rotation creates a proper limit of that, of that foot, that knee, and the pelvis, right? So it gives you a quick example of what you can do with the positioning of the body so that it creates a limitation here. But this is what I call the braking system of the swing because when you move, move into a golf, a golf swing, this creates a, st a stabilizer where you put, it's putting on a brake right here which allows the torso to then do the same thing. So we have acceleration going on through rotation and we have stabilization going on. So the stabilization is just as important of a part of the golf swing as the acceleration, the rotational part. So we need both. So let me, I want to walk you through upper body stabilization today because that's a big part of what we teach, but how is the upper body stabilizing? Now, if you look at Mo's swing from a top view, right? So we look at the top view of Mo's swing. Here's what you're going to see. You're going to see he makes a rotation into the backswing, then he starts making a rotation into the downswing. You can't see it from the top view, but he's stabilizing into the lead knee, the rotated lead foot, and his torso continues its rotation. But what you're going to see is the lead shoulder for a moment of time there starts slowing down and the arms are moving without much lead shoulder rotation. And then it's almost like the lead shoulder is staying in its position as the trail shoulder comes through. So what you're seeing is a lead shoulder, lead upper arm stabilization so the arms and hands can continue their motion through. So when you see Mo do that from that angle, which is a very interesting angle to begin with, what you're seeing is a lot of stabilization is being produced on this side of the body so that this side of the body can accelerate. But that's also squaring the club. So you're getting, you're getting rotation, you're getting stabilization, and you're getting acceleration. And that's all the things we want. And you're getting the release, and then you're getting a club face that squares up. So, so much is, is happening and so much is being produced from how the body produces stabilization. I think this is a big part. I've said this a zillion times on this channel, so I'm, I'm repeating myself somewhat here. But it's a big part of what's not being taught is how the body is producing the proper stabilization of, of the lead side. So people ask me, is, is the golf swing left-sided or right-sided? It's both-sided. They have different functions throughout the motion of the swing. So when I take this three wood and I set up, I'm setting up into the proper tilt, but what's happening here is I swing through, I'm stabilizing from this side up. That's what I call the ball. So I'm stabilizing this side of my body. So what's happening is it's like I'm taking the club back, obviously I'm stabilizing here. I, I go into that lead knee to stabilize, but then it's like the brakes are put on, I can accelerate, but as I go through, as I go through here, this gets to a certain point of rotation where this, all right, see that? So once this gets to its, its, 
rotation, this face. Now I'll give you a little metric here about positioning. I call it my, my 25-30 rule. So I want, at impact, I want 25 degrees of tilt and 30 degrees of rotation, 25-35, 35-30. So what you see is 25-30. So here's what I want you to do today. This is, this is my little lesson for you today. I want you to set up, you know you had a golf club. You can put a golf club on the ground if you want. Put your arms across your chest. Tilt towards the ball, give me a little side bend about 15 degrees. I want you to go into the knee, okay, hold it there. Remember your foot's flexed, into the knee, right? I want you to go a little more bend, a little more rotation, and just stand there like this, okay? There's my 25, 30. So you're gonna go address, into the knee, 25, 30. I want you to teach yourself what it feels like to be in the two matched metrics of side bend rotation at impact. Now, watch when I hit this shot. You're gonna see, it's, too, it's going too fast for you to see probably, but you're gonna see me go through that exact 25, 30, and then you're gonna see me hit the shot. And that's exactly what's happening, stabilization, Body gets side bent, rotated to impact, then through. That's why I teach what I teach. Stabilization, rotation, and side bend. It's a club. I don't ever try to square a golf club. I simply get in the proper position, stabilization, bend and side bend, and this rotation allows the club to square up. I never try to square a golf club consciously. That's the lesson for today. You're working on your impact, bend and side bend. So Forward tilt, get into your little side bend now. Go into your knee. I want you to go bend a few degrees, rotate. There's your impact position. Work on that feeling. Good thing to do this winter. Check out your positions, and I'll talk to you again on my channel.